you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. By the grace of God, you are watching me in heaven and hell life program. The one I used to do every mo- uh, every Sunday, Sunday to uh, every uh, every every Thursday, every Thursday. By the grace of God, I pray the Lord will bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh, Today we are going into the study immediately. So please let's pray. Everlasting Father, we want to bless your name because you are the King of glory. You are the Lord of Lord. You are the ancient of day. You are the beginning and the end. You want to say thank you without glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray to you. I pray, oh Lord, that you will release your wisdom down. You will open the eyes of your people. People. You open the heart of your people to receive your word and to understand the deep things about you. Father, please, we want you to talk yourself so that they can understand you more and more. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. The Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Today we are going to talk about uh, a very important subject which we need to consider and uh, and to do number one is uh we are considering the uh the uh sowing the seed based on me me you hear what i said sowing seed based on miracle is it a right thing for a christian to be sowing seed so that he or she can receive miracle from the Lord God Almighty. Is it a right thing for any Christian to sow a seed so that he or she can receive miracle from the Lord God Almighty? We can see in the book of Psalm, Psalm 97. If you look at Psalm 97, I want you to, I want you to be careful and listen very well to this message so that it will help you a long way. Psalm 97 verses 11. 97 verses 11. If you are there, you can just wait for me to be there too. 97 verses 11. 97 verses 11. Psalm 97 verses 11. He said, light is so for righteous and gladness for the up, up, for the upright in heart. Light is so for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Psalm 126 verse 5 says something too about sowing. About so there are a lot of verses, but I'm only going to open some little verse, some little verse before I, I begin the teachings. Psalm 126, verses 5. 126, verses 5. It said, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. You see that. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He talk about sowing there. And uh, Paul also says something, but I'm still coming back to that area. Probably let me open it together so that I can explain once and for all. Once and for all, if we go to the book of uh, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians. Chapter 9, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses, uh, verses 10. It says, Now, he that minister, listen very well, because in that verses, uh, he's talking about sowing. 
If you look at verse 6, it's also talking about sowing. Verse uh, I think, uh, 5, 6. She said that, but this I say, he which soweth sprankly will reap also sprankly, and he which sow bountifully shall reap also bountifully. That's verse 6. So now, that's it there. Then uh, he talked about seven. He said, Every man according as he purposed in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loves, loveth a cheerful giver. See, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make a grace abound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good works. Now, verse 9. Listen to me now. He said, as it is written, he has despised uh, abroad. He has given to the poor. His righteousness remained forever. Verse 10. He said, now, he that ministered seed to the sower, put minister bread for your food. Multiply your seed so and increase the fruit of your righteousness. Do you see now? Now, in our speaking, verses, uh, verses uh, 11, 12, but I'm going to read 12. He said, for the administration of the service, not only supply the want of the saint, but is abundant also by making thanksgiving unto God. So that is how it was, uh, you know, it goes like that to 15. Now, talking about sowing for miracle. Hear what the Bible say about sowing for miracle. The Bible truly supports sowing. That you should sow, but it did not support you to sow for miracle. Listen to me very well. I want you to listen very well. And this is a problem that we are facing in the church right now. It's a problem that we are facing in the church now. Because as whether we like it or not, as far as it is now, the church is a problem. As far as the church is concerned now, the church is a problem because of the issue of the sowing. So many pastors now is now refined to the sowing of the physical things now than the spiritual one. It's now refined to the sowing of the physical things now than the spiritual one now. Now listen to me. There's no sin when you give to a man of God. There is no sin when you give to a church. There is no sin when you 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 sacrifice. The Bible took about Solomon sacrificing in the church. The Bible took about uh, some minister too who sacrificed also in the church. So there is no sin when you decided to sacrifice abundantly to God. So it is uh it is it is one of the things and stool that make you know that bring the power of God and uh, that uh, that that you know. He, 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 he bring God into action immediately. This is what I'm saying now. It bring God's, God into action when you sow. So God's, God will see it as somebody who is, is making sacrifice. Sacrifice from him, from his side. A great sacrifice. So to God, you are making a great sacrifice. It's very good for you to sow. But when a pastor begins to tell you that if you want a child, Come and sow seed. Or you want you now want to go and sow seed because you want a child. You want a children, you want money. And pastor are saying that when you sow, you are going to reap. It is against the word of God. God is not selling his miracle. God is not selling his wonders. You cannot possess the glory of God with money. It's not possible. There is an incident that happened in the book of Acts of Apostles. Chapter 8, verse 18 to 21. I'm still going to read it. Chapter 8, verse 18 to 21. There's a man there that wanted to pursue the glory and the blessings of God with his money. And Peter cursed him. These are the, the attributes, let me say the attitude of the old times opposed to them. They are so very careful about money. They do allow themselves to be sold into the realm 
of uh, money. They don't allow money to control their lives. Not the prophet of nowadays who believes so much in sowing, sowing seed. And the way God wants us to sow seed is totally different. For example, now you have been praying to God. Let me I'm, that's why I said, please listen carefully so that you did not misinterpret what I'm saying. Do misinterpret what I'm saying. Listen very well so that you can understand what I'm teaching today. Listen, I didn't say you should not sow. Listen to me very carefully. For example, now you are praying on your own. There are two things. They are praying on your own. And after the prayer, you now decided in your heart to sow a very bountiful seed to God. To make, you know, to, to, to make God happy. To sow a very bountiful seed, a powerful seed to the Lord God Almighty. And there, you now take, you now go and seed, sow seed. It can also fasten your miracle. Do you understand me now? It can fasten your miracle. Or a man of God, he called you and he gave you revelation. And he's telling you that, okay, probably God is asking you to go and pray. So when you pray, after finishing your prayer, listen to me now. You are, God said you should go and bless some people. He didn't mention himself. He didn't say that, bless me. He said, mention to pastor, maybe tell the pastor, go and bless you. That's what God said. Oh, okay, go and bless, uh, or go and bless uh, some uh, crippled, disabled people. That one is spiritual directions. It's spiritual direction. So you are to pray that prayer and go and so that's that one is different. It's God asking you to do it. For example, I, I'm going to bring an example to you. So, but let us keep saying this first. So that one is a different thing entirely. It's God instructing you. But when they come to a, 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 a level whereby you go to a church and the pastor is saying, you know you want a miracle, come out now with 500,000, with 200,000, with 1 million, with 100,000, and begin to call the money upside down. Now, and you too, you have begin to come with faith. I'm not saying that you will not receive your miracle, but you have totally sinned against God. The Bible says, it says, freely you receive, freely ye shall give. That's what the Bible says in Matthew. He said, freely ye receive, freely ye shall give. You didn't expect, you do any pastor that expect his member to first give him money before he can do prayer or before he can do miracle for the person or he can, he can plead God on that person's uh, life. That kind of pastor is an antichrist pastor. That kind of pastor is a false prophet. He's only wrestling for money. He and Balak, he and Balak, they are, they are the same thing. Balaam, because of uh, money, he disobeyed the instruction of God. Because the pastor, the, 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 the kings say, if you can pray, if you can pray, I'm ready to sow a seed into your ministry. That is what happened to Balaam. He said, if you can pray and cause Israelites, I am ready to sow into your ministry. I'm ready to sow all this money. He began to count the money. And he said, even to the half of my kingdom, I'm going to sow it into your ministry. And God spoke with him and said, don't follow them. But when they come back again and they stop it with a higher price, Balak have to go again to God. It was troubling God. It was troubling God. You see, it was so troubling God that God is it was stopping me. This is a money matter. You know that if you give me money now, you know that my ministry is going to change. It's going to be international. This and this and that. And God says, okay, follow them. God wanted to test him, and when God said follow them, he was very happy. He said, hey, thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you. God said, but to follow you. You stay overnight. So God said, I will follow you. And they follow them. And the Bible, the Bible says, and God himself sent an angel to go and slaughter him. If not for the grace of God, if not for the mercy of God, that the, 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 uh, the, 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 the horse that was carrying him, stop, he would laugh. Probably the angel will have slaughtered him and cut off his head because he disobeyed God. Do you see now? That's the life of Bala. We, we should not follow the kind of life like that. That's an evil life, a satanic life. Don't forget what the Bible says. He said, He that loved the world. He said, The love of the Father is not in him. It's not the him as a minister of God. Not only that, you as a Christian, you are not supposed to be sowing for miracle, but sow to God because you are sowing because of the kingdom of God. Finish. If you are going to sow, do so because you want miracle to happen. No. 
except you know that you are lead. You know, you, you, you can be having the feelings in your heart, like, okay, let me show to this man of God. It's a feelings from the heart, like an instruction from God. That one is different. Not that a person will be cajoling you to bring in money for your miracle. It's totally wrong. God expects you. You didn't. The, the, the pastor did not need to tell you to sow. You as a whole that you know you are working, and the pastor is laboring in your life. You need to sow yourself. If the pastor need to start uh, preaching the word of God to you, preaching after preaching after you give me money before you know that supposed to give it. Paul says something. He said, "We minister in the spirit to you. You is it too? Is it wrong for us to receive the things in the, in the flesh, the material things? No." You, you, you know that this man of God is laboring in your life to make heaven. He's laboring to pray for you. He's laboring to do you yourself. You know, sow a big seed into a man of God's life. Know that you are sowing because you want me that to happen. You cannot possess the glory of God. That's why I said you should listen carefully. I am not against you sowing, but I'm against a pastor cajoling many Christians. To, to start showing for miracle. Any pastor doing that, he cannot make effort. You that you are also fool, you are you are you are fools to do and do that too. You too cannot make it to heaven. You see, there's an incident that happened in the Bible here. In the book of uh, Out of Apostles, chapter 8. Out of Apostles, chapter 8, verses uh, verses uh, 18, verse 21. If Yes, I'm going to read here. Verses 18, verse 20 to 21. Yes, verses 18 to 21. He said, And the Simon saw that through laying of the apostle hands, the Holy Ghost was given he, given. He offered them money. You see that? So it's the same thing as what you do. Because you know that God is answering people here in the church, and you know you need God to bless you with finale, with baby. You now give the pastor and say, ah, Lord, I want to buy your blessing. You can sow a seed into ministry on your personal lady. If God is saying to us, that one is different. But don't allow pastor to can do you. He said he now offered them money. Because it's let me read it again. He said, and when Simon, Simon, one is not the Simon of the Bible, the disciple of Jesus Christ. This one, this Simon is, is, is one of the, uh, is a man who is a magician, but God converted as a Christian. So this one is not the one of, of, of the disciple of Jesus Christ. Now, in that sense, so that true laying of the apostles and Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. Say, listen to verse 19, give me also this power that on whosoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. 20, but Peter says, said unto him, your money perish with you because you have, you have thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Do you see that? You see that now he said may your money perish with you may your money perish with you because you thought that god gift god's miracle can be purchased with money verse 22 verse 21 and i said he said something verse 21 he said thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter for your heart is not right in the sight of god 22, repent therefore of your wickedness and pray God, if far, 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 pass, the thought of my heart may be forgiven thee. Do you see that? Do you see that now? Verse 23, he said, for I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Do you see that? Then answered Simon and said, pray ye to the Lord for me, that none of these things which ye have spoken come upon me you see that now you see what god is saying now you can you cannot purchase god miracle with your with your with, with your finances it's not proper if you want to sow on god leading go and sow but not pastor are doing you that you can receive miracle by showing seed don't you see what happens eh when elijah 
Elisha wanted to heal that man of leper. Eh? He wanted to heal that man. That's who that man. After he has healed him, he offered him money. I'm not saying that it's a sin for you to accept money. It's God blessing for you. But sometimes, it is not all things you think money can buy. For example, he offered him money and he rejected it. And Giasi went at the back and went and collected it. What happened to Giasi? He was cursed and his generation became leprous. So what am I going to say? What, what, what is God saying here is that you cannot purchase his blessing with his money, with your money. You can bless God though. You can sow seed in someone's ministry as a blessing that this person that God is using him. I'm sowing seed. Yes, there's no sin in that. It's good. But don't sow seed based on miracle that if, so that if I sow seed, I will have this. So by the time you now sow seed and you are not having it, you get disappointed in God. This is not how God wants it to be. I pray the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. I want to tell you a story of a particular man that I where I know myself very well. That is why sometimes it's good to sow seed on the instruction of God, but not sowing seed because of pastor cathering you. That's what I'm trying to say. So please don't misunderstand me. This is a man of God. This is a man is in the, in the in the church. Then he doesn't have money. He was sleeping in the church. I know him myself. It's not a matter of the telling me story. I was. Yeah, myself. This man was very, 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 very poor, extremely poor. He was looking for work. He learned a fashion designer. That's what, what we call tailor. He learned a fashion designer. So when he learned this fashion designer, he doesn't have any uh, anybody to sponsor him to open his shop for him or to do anything for him. So the man of God now pray for him. He asked him to go into seven days fasting and prayer. He went there. The, the, God told him to go into another three days. Then he went to that three days. So when he was when he was about to finish the three days, the man of God told him, he said, the Lord said, I should tell you that he's going to send the helper to you. Who is going to help you in everything that you needed in that job? And he said, okay. True, true. God sent an helper. Listen to this story. God sent an helper. And when God sent an helper to him, I want to tell you the reason why your prayer are answered. I, 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 I hear that. Listen to me. God sent an helper. And when God sent an helper to him, the helper did not just collect a shop for him. He paid for the shop. He gave him several machines. It's not just one. It's not two machines. It's not three. He gave him a dustbin machine. He gave him normal machine. He gave him the shop. He machine the map buy for him. Only him. It's up to like three to four machines in a particular one shop not only that he gave him some money to to start afresh do you know what he do everything he needed for him not only that he also connect him with people who can help him so the ma it's not that the matter of a year story i was there and it's what i know very well but the man of god now told him something he called him he said, man, uh, he said my brother come here and he said ah, yes sir he said the lord said i should tell you that all the money you you work, the first money you work for the first month or for, for uh, yes, first month or so, don't touch it at all. See no problem, sir. He said, don't touch it now. When you now, when you now bring the money on Sunday, when people are you know it is still Sunday service then. So, so he said on Sunday morning when people are putting tight and offering. You must not put your own money in that tight and offering. Listen to me very well. He said, don't put your own money in that tight and offering money. Make sure that after the service, that people has paid their tight and church has closed. You will now go to offering boss. Put the money there. Just leave it like that. Don't tell anybody. Offering boss, please. This is what God told me. Oh, the man said, Fadi. The pastor is a, almost, he said, should I prostrate for you? He should know how the thing was so serious in the prophet's life. He was saying, should I prostrate for you? He said, ah, daddy, why will you prostrate? He said, please, if it's for me, please, I'm begging you. Don't put it where people are putting offering. Put it after, after people have already put their offering. 
that is where you should put it. I'm begging you, I'm begging you. The man said, yes, that he has had it on the Sunday service. Maybe now forget he forget to know. Or he want to make young guy because people know that he didn't used to come out for offering. Maybe he want to show them that he don't get money. I don't know. He, he now wear good clothes on Sunday service. He, a tight and off, he put it in envelope. He went there, he walked there, he went there. People are coming and he went to go and drop it in the in the uh, in the offering bus. In disobedience to what the prophet says. On that Sunday that he has put it, on the Monday, in the evening of Monday, it's not the issue of that I told you before. It's what I'm aware. I know the brother, I know him very well. In the evening of Monday, Monday evening, that is on Sunday, the Monday one, Monday evening, the man of God was sitting outside. The pastor was sitting outside. He was just sitting outside the church to try to get a fresh air. And lo and behold, one man came. The man is not too old. He's not too young. He's not too old. He's just moderate, but he's a old man. He was wearing suit, pure suit. He came and he said, uh, prophet. He just came like that. He didn't even support that to say I agree to him. This and this. He just came to the dressing very well. He said, uh, prophet. That was it. Where well was that? He said, that money in the offering box, I'm here to collect it. Ah, you want to go say, hey, you have to collect it. He said, yes. You want to go say, nah. yeah. He said, no, I'm coming, sir. I'm coming. He believed that the instruction he gave to the brother, the brother have done it. Not knowing that the brother did not do it. He now went to the to the uh to the boss. He opened it, he did not find anything. He said, Hey, Jesus Christ. He began to search everywhere in the boss. Maybe, maybe the money is uh, hiding somewhere in the boss. He touched, he searched, he didn't say anything. He said, the Almighty. He now came back. He says, Hey, sir, I, the money is not there. The man said, I have come to collect the money in the offering boss. The man now said, ah, hey, sir, I, 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 I'm I have some tests that I can also give you, sir. It was so happy, it was so bitter, it was so um, so painful. I said, I have some words I can want. I want to have some money I can give you soon, sir. He said, I don't need your money. I only come for the offering money. And if it's not there, don't worry. And the man turned back and he went away. The pastor did like this. As he went away, he wanted to go and follow the man again to go and ask him that, sir, what of the mass disappeared? I was like, who is this man? And God spoke to him. He said, my servant, can't you recognize my, my angel when you see them? The Lord have to send his own angel from heaven. From heaven to come and collect the offering. And when the pastor see that he has gone, he now called the brother. Hey, okay, come here. What do you have to keep here? Give me. The, the pastor was so painful. Don't I tell you, wait, where is the money that I told you to put here? I want to put it there. Yeah, he said, uh, sir, I, yesterday when everybody is uh, collecting offerings, I put my offering there too. Ah! Didn't I told you that you should not put your money there? Hey, my God. Didn't I told you that it's after the service? The brother was begging. He said, ah, you cannot, be it's too late. It's too late. As they were talking, the person who helped the brother just give him a phone call. He said, please come and see me in my house. As he came, he said, I want to collect everything I gave to you back. He says, what did I do? He said, I don't want to. I just don't want to give you again. And the man came himself. He packed everything. Oh my God. He packed everything. Even though ordinary need do that he buy for him, he take out. He take him. And God wanted to use that offering to make him, to, to give him a breakthrough, internal breakthrough. It's not just going to be a tailor only, but it will become a successful tailor, probably in the whole state or in the whole country or, or in the whole country, if possible. 
Because we do know the plan of God. The man, the man was speechless. And the man packed everything. He now came to the prophet, begin to cry. He said, I know I've seen. He said, you are not going to go into another double. Before now, 10, you are not going to double the 10. Probably 30 days. He now double the fasting. Just be asking for mercy. Just be asking for mercy. After he asked for mercy, for after some times, the man now called him back again. He gave him one machine, one something. Not everything he collected before. He now gave him one one. He now started from afresh, little by little, little by little, little by little. What am I trying to say to you is that it's good to show on the leading of the Holy Spirit. If you are here now, God is asking you so to that man of God. So to this thing, and you did not do it. What will block you in your life? It will be more than what you are thinking. Obedience is better than sacrifice. When you don't obey, you are in trouble. When you don't obey, it can hinder you of many blessings, many things that is more than your, 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 your thought. You have it in your heart that that man of God, or that sister, or that brother, or that bedroom, go and do this, or that mama, or that baba, but you did not do it, it's dangerous for you. And I have repeatedly said it again. If any pastor is telling you to give him so to sow seed into his ministry, never you sow it. Never you do it. It is against the will of God. It can, if you say, ah, please, I want to work, uh, I want to do the work of God, please, can, uh, if, if anybody is touched with the, uh, with the grace of God to support, that one is different. But when he's trying to tell you that sowing the seed to receive miracle is against the scripture. God bless you. God be with you. This is what the Lord say I should teach you today. And I believe that you really learn a big lesson through it. Please do just go. Subscribe and press notification button. Do not just go. Sub subscribe. Subscribe to that channel and press notification button. I pray the Lord will visit your life with miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.